Hi there, we're going to be playing some more Hearthstone this time. So let's get right to it again. We're going to be playing with the Warlock, or maybe we should be playing with something else. You know what? For now, I'm going to stick with Warlock because I quite like it. Let's do that. Yes. Find us a worthy opponent. Decks can contain two copies of each card, but only one copy of a legendary card. Why, thank you, game. Saving the world. Sometimes it does, however, take quite a while. Not any longer, really, than Duel of Champions, however. So that's good. Shaman, or Shaman, or other ways of pronouncing it. Okay. I really don't need this storm when... Oh, I... That's a little bit of... A little bit of pop filter stuff that didn't get caught. Uh, yeah, I really don't need the Stormwind champion there. Nor do I really need that for the moment. <clears throat> well, I'll just end, I suppose. <clears throat> Hoping for some lower cost stuff. Come on. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's good. Okay, then I can just summon this out. And I'm feeling pretty good about that. Yeah. I like playing that uh, with the coin. It's a really nice uh, turn one play, so I'm really happy that he couldn't play anything as well. Gave me a chance to uh, to get that out as if I had done so. Ah, you came back to me. Okay, well, well, okay. I'm just gonna play this to get out some additional damage. It's basically, it's very much like a... Uh, it's kind of like playing in Duel of Champions an honor creature. Really, I think of things like Raid Leader as not not a, not really a creature, a minion in its own right, but I think of it in terms when I use it as more of a a buff. And it's like a buff totem that just so happens to be able to attack. Uh, so it is a buff first and foremost and a minion second. So yeah, it's good. I quite like it, and it's really great for uh, something like this, some, this sort of deck where I prefer to get out Murlocs early on for that extra damage and for that swarm. Right now, we have some stuff that I really can't deal with too easily, so I'm just going to summon out some additional creatures, like so. Keep that swarm going. Give him loads of targets and then completely ignore him and let him kill my creatures himself. No reason for me to be wasting my turns killing, uh, killing off his creatures when he can do that for me, right? Yeah. Or he could just go right after me and that would be a reasonable thing to do. I mean, he has five damage on, uh, on the field and so do I. Mine is just a little bit more spaced out and uh, it's easier to kill with um, AoE. But less easy to kill with single target stuff, obviously. I prefer to do that. If I'm gonna be playing uh, playing X amount of damage, I'd prefer that damage to be easier to kill with uh, AoE rather than being easy to kill with single target stuff like Shadow Word Pain, Shadow Word Death, that sort of thing. Things like um, uh, combos with you know backstab and other sorts. Other sorts of single target damage. Okay, well, we can get out the top, but it's really not all that necessary right now unless we get this out, which may be really great. It would let me kill off a lot of stuff. Now, this spell damage, that, however, that could be a problem, and I might want to kill it off. Or I might not. Not entirely sure. Well, I have enough to play this, so I think I'm going to do it. And uh, although I said I like to have my damage spaced out, in this case, I'm just going to leave it there like so, so that he can uh, kill himself off and I'll have loads of damage in uh, as well as him killing off the screen. Or he could just do that. <laughs> you know, that works. See, this is what I'm talking about. Hex, there's loads of ways to get rid of a single target and there's less ways to AoE a single target. Especially, I think, if you're dealing with a sham Shaman deck. I can't really think of a lot of ways a uh, Shaman has to... Oh, Mortal Coil, to uh, get rid of single tar or AoE, a bunch of stuff. Um, uh, let's see, I have six. I can pull one, two, three, four. Mm. Okay, and Mortal Coil wouldn't really do a whole lot at the moment unless I attack this, which may not be a bad idea. And then I would be able to draw a card. I might do that. Let's just attack that. Do that. Bring out this bring out 
Uh, we do. Hmm. That might be a better idea. But let's bring out the taunt. And this for some additional damage. Save the taunt for when we. The additional taunt for when we need it. Right now, it would just. Uh, it wouldn't really solve a whole lot of problems. Now, this spell damage is going to be a problem. Or, no, wait, this is a healing totem. This is the spell damage totem. Yeah. Again, I, I really don't know what kind of AoE potential this uh, this guy has, so... You know, I will with this experience. Right now, I'm, I'm just winging it. This would help. Uh, again, this is basically one of them situations where I consider it a totem more than anything else. But it's a totem with loads of damage, so it's good. Um, and survivability. So, in this situation, I really need to get rid of this bodyguard. How am I going to do that? I could just summon this guy out and then attack with this and this it's almost dead anyway or uh or or this yeah okay so let's summon this guy out and then now we have uh this guy who can kill it off immediately like so and uh then we can just attack straight through it may not be oh god damn it i accidentally clicked that you know what <laughs> That may be for the best. That may have saved my, they may have saved my ass, but uh, I still misclicked. Some ways the uh, the Hearthstone method of clicking, dragging, and then releasing to target is great. Other times, uh, it's a bit wonky. Okay. Well, we can certainly deal with that. I don't want to corrupt it right now. Maybe I should, but I'd prefer to save that. So instead I could play this. That would allow me to take him out, but I would sacrifice creatures in the process. Would it be such a bad idea? Not really. How do you like another one of these, huh? That's good. It's good. Or I could attack that, survive, hmm. And then be able to kill it off with three more damage. That might be good. Might be bad, but it might be good. So now we can just kill it off with a fairly even trade. And then just summon out another one of these right now. Do I really want to do that? Um, you know, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I don't know what kind of AoE potential he has, but it is an additional one damage, which would be two damage at the moment. So it might actually be the best time to play it. It's good to save it. For when I need, um, it's good to save it for when I need that extra taunt, but right now, with the storm wind on the field, I feel fairly confident in having that additional one damage on this void walker. It's pretty nice. It's actually a reasonably good time to play it. Now would be a good time to completely ignore that, let it kill off one of my creatures, which isn't amazing at all, uh, and I'll just corrupt it. There you go, buddy. Have fun with that. And then, uh, I could play that, but I don't have any Murlocs on the field. I could play the Shield Master, but again, I feel like that wouldn't be really necessary at the moment. But hey, I'm going to do it anyway. Swarm it. Swarm! Do I want to save the space? I might want to save the space. N you know what? Nope. We're just playing it. We're just playing it. I don't even care. And then, I'm just going to... I don't have any buffs, so I'm going to work. You know what? I'm going to Life Tap. Screw it. Life Tapping. That would have been... No, no, that wouldn't have actually been better in this situation. Okay, just just gonna break him down. You And that is most likely going to be the end here. The one creature he can do a lot of damage with is dying uh, next turn, or at the start of my turn. So, yeah, I don't think he can really do a whole lot. Yeah, you can take care of two of my creatures, but really, any of my creatures on the field can kill him. I have so much taunt that he has to get through to get get um, get at my Stormwind Champion that most of the stuff I have can take him out. Yup. So yeah, you can kind of see the power of just having loads of small creatures and then having loads of totems uh, via Stormwind Champion and uh, Raid Leader. And just kind of using those to increase their damage, it really helps. When you space out your creatures and then use something like this, you get a lot more value out of it than if you had simply uh, brought out higher damage creatures. You, you just get more out of it. You know, three creatures that add up to five damage is going to actually get more damage when you had uh, one of them uh, buffing totem creatures than you would if uh, if it was just a single creature with five damage. So that's sort of my... 
the way I see the game. Uh, and so that's how I'm going to be playing it, most likely, for quite some time. Until I hit a bunch of AoE. So yeah, now I've act uh, I have Sacrificial Pact, which is not going to be remotely useful to me at the moment. But uh, there you go. Unlocking them basic cards. Good stuff. And I will see you next time.